Uh, my name is Randall, and I am affirmative for the legalization for marijuana. And we resolved that marijuana could be legalized and regulated and taxed like alcohol. Um, my main points are, one of them that is that the um, past administrations, like Bill Clinton, Al Gore, Barack Obama, have smoked marijuana before and inhaled it. And, well, they don't, they don't approve of it, but they don't consider it as a gateway drug. My next point would be that an embassy poll found that 45% of boomers favored marijuana over the older generation, which is 65 and above, of legalizing marijuana. My third and final point would be that marijuana would be used to save the economy as a revenue to help bring up the economy. And uh, yeah, so um, basically, yeah. So thank you. Uh, you have a question. Uh, my question is: um, legalizing and taxing marijuana seems very beneficial for the economy, but um, did you consider the lives of those people who are going to be smoking? Yep. Um, to your answer, um, it is beneficial for the economy in so many different levels, and as to a person, to a person's health, the same as other addictive drugs and other drugs like alcohol and um, subscribed drugs, is depending on the individual. You could, uh, it's, about, it's a matter of um, free will or a matter of um, how much you consume, so it's depending on the individual. The same as alcohol, like anybody could drink, but that doesn't necessarily they're gonna become an alcoholic. The same as a pot smoker, they could smoke weed and, you know, but not become addicted to it and dependent of the drug. So it's more based on the person instead of the health. And it's only one person, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Negative has uh, two minutes. Hi, my name is Sonia. I'm a negative to um, legalizing marijuana. Um, to your first point about me, um, about the political leaders, um, that's just making uh, assumption that the next political leader will be for uh, smoking, because just just because. Um, Bill Clinton said that he smoked but did not inhale, or Michael Bloomberg said he smoked and he enjoyed it, or Barack Obama said he inhaled frequently. That was the point. We cannot make assumptions that the next political figure will be for. Uh, your second point about the baby boomers. Um, baby boomers are not um, good people to ask because those people, they are not aware they don't know what what it is. They might as well know that uh, marijuana and heroin they put on the same level. They lack knowledge about the drug, and uh, they're not experienced. And uh, your third point about taxing, taxing is a good way for the economy, and uh, but we have to take in consideration of the health of those people who are going to be using it. It's going to be like using people to make money. And uh, I want to make my final point. Um, um, marijuana is a gateway, gateway drug because every single person who does hard drugs like heroin, uh, they started off from smoking. And the example we have is um, Mr. Um, David Sheff, he wrote a book about his son, which called uh, Beautiful Boy, and his son is addicted, uh, his son Nick is addicted to meth, and he started off by smoking marijuana from the age 12. Thank you. Question? Okay. <clears throat> you, said, you said marijuana is allegedly a gateway drug. So, what would you call alcohol? Alcohol leads to death, and alcohol is addictive. And the same book that you said, uh, Beautiful Boy, it says um, that the boys in the house went through numerous rounds of painful, nerve-wracking, alcohol-related groundings during high school. 